Shalom. In this video I will show how the 12 tribes of Israel are likely related to the 12 constellations of the zodiac. Zodiac is Greek for a circle of animals or living creatures. According to Wiktionary, the word zodiac derives from a Proto-Indo-European word meaning, to live. As a phenomenon, zodiac refers to a belt of the heavens within about 8 degrees either side of the ecliptic, the circle of the sun. When the book of Revelation talks about the living creatures it is likely referring to the zodiac. The four living creatures of Revelation chapter 4 are likely the four main zodiac constellations. In addition, the four constellations are likely the symbols of the four leading tribes of Israel. Judah the lion, Joseph the ox, Reuben the man, and Dan the eagle. This is widely known. However, only very few people have good theories on how the rest of the tribes of Israel relate to the zodiac. Many people have tried and failed to connect all twelve tribes to the twelve constellations. One reason for this is that they have relied only on the modern western zodiac, even though the ancient Israelites did not know the modern western zodiac. Another reason why most people have failed at the task is that they have put too much trust on popular Bible translations of Jacob's blessing. Jacob's blessing, however, is ancient Hebrew poetry and one of the most difficult passages in the Bible to translate. Enough for the introduction. Let's start by zooming in to the lion. The lion is Judah. The lion is the king of the constellations and holds the king star between his feet. Genesis 49 states, The scepter will not pass from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he to whom it belongs will come. To him will be the obedience of the peoples. Next to Judah is Issachar the donkey. Issachar's donkey is next to Judah because in Genesis 49 it says Judah binds his donkey colt to the choice wine. While this constellation does not look like a donkey, in the middle of the constellation is a cluster of stars that the ancients saw as a flock of sheep, and Issachar is said to be a strong-boned donkey, lying down between two sheepfolds. Next to Issachar are Simeon and Levi, brothers. The Babylonian constellation, Tuamu Rebutu, means great twins. This constellation depicts two very close brothers or twins. Next to Simeon and Levi is Manasseh. Manasseh is said to have the strength of an ox and the constellation is the head of an ox. Also, it is said of Simeon and Levi that they maimed oxen. Next to Manasseh is Naphtali the sheep. While the King James Version and many other Bible translations translate that Naphtali is a doe, Naphtali is actually a sheep. According to 1984 study by Stanley Geverts the correct translation of Naphtali's passage goes as follows. Naphtali a mountain ewe was born, who gives birth to lambs of the fold. In other words, Naphtali is first said to be free and untamed like a mountain ewe but then to become like a lamb of the fold. Ancient Babylonians saw here first a farm worker and later a sheep. The Greeks inherited the Babylonian ideas and saw here a ram. Next to Naphtali is Zebulon the fisherman or fishery. Genesis 49 says of Zebulon that his distant border reaches Zidon. Zidon is a place north of Israel. The word Zidon literally means a place for catching fish. Next to Zebulon is Reuben the man who pours water, as Genesis 49 says of him. Next to Reuben is God the young goat that is slain. The reason for this is that the Hebrew word for a young goat or a sacrificial animal is, Gedi. 
Also, the word for cutting open is, gadad, and the word for soldiers who cut through is, gadud. This is how God can be symbolized by both a military encampment and a young goat. Next to Gad is Joseph, the archer. Genesis 49 says that his bow was always filled. Next to Joseph is Dan, the eagle. The constellation looks like an eagle spreading its wings or like a scorpion. Jesenius pointed out in his Hebrew lexicon that the Hebrew word for scorpion, akrav, appears to be blended from the word, akr, to wound, and akev, the heel. In other words, in Hebrew a scorpion is literally a heel biter. This is significant because of Dan it is said that he strikes a horse's heels. Next to Dan is Benjamin, the wolf who divides plunder. Benjamin is depicted by the constellation wolf and by the constellation scales. The Babylonians called the wolf, Ur Yidim, and the scales, Zebanitu. The scales are a tool that can be used to divide coins or other objects equally among people. In the western zodiac the wolf is called lupus and the scales are called Libra. Next to Benjamin is Asher the woman who carries a bundle of wheat. According to 1987 study by Stanley Gevertz, the correct translation of Asher's passage goes as follows. Asher, who rations his bread, he gives delicacies to the king. Asher is positioned next to the scales because he rations his bread, and Asher is positioned next to Judah the king because he gives delicacies to the king. In addition, the constellation was on the opposite side of the sun during the spring barley harvest, and the constellation was clothed by the sun during the summer olive harvest. Thank you for watching the video.